So this morning I had an idea to take the little gem Mark II and have it be its own little standalone box, kind of like how it was intended to be. And um, I had this thought to put it in like a 125 size enclosure and stick a couple controls here and have the transfer mounted on top, power switch, cord hardwired directly to the circuit, sort of, I guess sort of like a Zvex Nano amp, Nano head amp, but um, so I actually got all the parts out and kind of started looking at the form factor and I didn't quite like that, so I kind of ended up with this here. This is kind of going to be my idea. It's going to sort of follow the Zvex format a little bit. Uh, I'm going to mount the transformer on top. It's going to be a 12, uh, let's see, it's a 6 volt, 0, 6 volt amp, not amp, transformer. And I'm going to wire it so it's 12 volts. Uh, so I'll get 225 milliamps, which would be enough to drive the LM386s. I'm going to mount the two controls on top like this, level and tone. I'm going to have the power switch right here. Input's going to be here, output's going to be back here, and then I'm going to have the circuit board built on this little piece of perf. It's going to be sitting over here somewhere. And then I'm going to have the uh, secondary here go through a full wave rectifier. Um, diode rectifier here, and then I'm going to have power filtering. And I decided I'm going to run it at 12 volts and use this old... 12-volt uh, voltage regulator that was given to me a while back, and I think I'm going to have this little pilot light here mounted on the front right here. And then this little handle will just be kind of something to, to keep the transformer from ever trying to fall out for one. And uh, the other thing would be it just gives it a kind of a, it's a little, little handle you can pick it up and move it around. So. That's my initial idea. Uh, I think I can get it all to fit in here. It's going to be a bit of a challenge, but I think I can do it. All right, so here I've got everything marked up for drilling. Most of the holes. I'm still undecided exactly where I'm putting the power switch, but I'm kind of thinking it actually needs to be here, not here. So, time to go drill it. Drilled and polished. Okay, so now it's a few hours later. I have everything inside the enclosure. Well, most everything. Um, and the inside's all wired up. Getting ready to put the, the uh, signal part of the circuit board in here. That's kind of hard to hold. All right. So, made a little standoff for the PCB or the perf board. Got an isolated speaker jack, input jack. Got a little pile of light here. Here's my 12 volt voltage regulator. It's putting out 11.93 volts. And that's my full wave rectifier arranging right here. And then I've got a filter cap 470 UF, which hopefully will be enough on a uh, on off switch and this is a, a little um, volume on the input so I don't overdrive the circuit if, depending on what I plug into it of course I have a power cord with a little grommet and then here I've got the circuit board wired up and uh, going to solder all these things into place in a minute. The only thing I'm waiting for is the LM386s to come in the mail, which will probably be here tomorrow. And then I'll make a little part two showing the finished product here and uh, any other details I might think are uh, relevant. And overall, I'm pretty happy about it. 
And I just started it this morning. I don't know how many hours I've spent on it, but it went by pretty quick. Once I had the initial idea, I pretty much knew exactly why I, I, I had a certain thing in my mind and I knew exactly how I was going to accomplish it. And so it came together pretty fast. And real quick, just to show you, here's the perf board installed. And yeah, I'm just waiting for the LM386 chips. I'm gonna double check my wire and make sure everything's good. And pretty close to being done here. It turned out pretty cool.